Hello and welcome to I'm Geeky. This is episode 221. And with great power comes great responsibility. I'm Ryan, joined by my brother Chris, I go by a catering, hey. and Ray is back with us. Hey! We got that out of the way. Yes. So nobody has to die in this episode to say that. It's been said. Nobody has to die. It, does, it doesn't have the meaning behind it. No. If, no, if somebody no doesn't die. By saying that, you're a marked man now, so. Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> with great power comes no responsibility. There you Do go, you have, you're safe. You have all the power. Yeah. To watch your back. That's how the government works, right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about tonight, this is I Am Marvel, I guess. If we're starting that now, this is I Am Marvel, yes. and we're talking about Ooh. Spider-Man No Way Home. This is going to be, there's going to be so many spoilers in this episode. So many spoilers. Just turn so if it you off. Seen it, turn it off yeah. now. Run away. What have you been doing with your life? It's true. What, spending time with family? Come on, just go to the movie. <laughs> Staying safe? <laughs> Saving money? <laughs> safe. You can spend time with your family when you're watching Spider-Man right. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man No Way Home, we're going to dive right into it. We're going to talk all about it. And then um, we'll see what happens at the end. If it comes out good or bad. or mm. I know mm. one person in the group is still sort of like... Eh. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> I won't say who, but his first name's Chris. <laughs> Wait a minute. Which one? <laughs> Whew. That narrows it down. Oh, no. God, <laughs> was like, Chris. oh it's not me. <laughs> oh, it's not me. Thank goodness. Cinder <laughs> Corn, is he talking Ray's... about me? <laughs> yeah. Ray's, Ray's like Loki when he got take, taken by the... the... The, the people and they're like, are you a robot? No, I don't. Are you sure? I don't. Am I a robot? I don't. <laughs> Trying to have self doubts. <laughs> am I not a Chris? I don't know. Now before <laughs> before we dive into it, let's set up the timeline. I'm going to rely on Chris for this because he's smart. I looked it up, but now I'm just totally yeah, the other Chris. I'm getting ready for a trip, so my my brain is all over the place. We're going to Hawaii, so that it takes a lot to go to Hawaii. We were talking a little bit before, but it, it takes you can't just like go to Hawaii right now. You have to do all this stuff, fill out pages and pages of forms, learn how to smoke a pig. Yeah, <laughs> it says, "Will you be bringing a pig with you?" in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. The answer is no. But I hope to bring one back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there's a lot of stuff with COVID you got to fill out and stuff. But like they have to have your reservation number to your hotel. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm. I guess if you don't have a reservation. Nowhere to find you. <laughs> no reservation. <laughs> it, it'll be like no uh, hobos Indiana coming. <laughs> like Indiana Jones when uh, they asked for the ticket. Mm. And they you know, mm. and then he throws the dude yeah. out of the plane. No ticket. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to toss you out of the plane. There you go. Better have a ticket. To swim back to yeah. California. All right, let's <laughs> set up um, where this takes place. So basically, this movie picks up right after Far From Home. Yes. Yes, Which directly after. It's the year. Pick up. Mere seconds after. No ticket. Do you remember what year mm-hmm. that is supposed to be? It's post-blip. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Like twenty twenty three, maybe I don't know. Yeah. They they did like a five year jump, so they're no longer they're like ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in time. <laughs> and for those asking why we're not talking about Hawkeye tonight, we will at one point because um, it was really good. Um, for those asking, well, why wasn't Spider Man in Hawkeye? Mm-hmm. Because Hawkeye happens after Spider Man. Yes, No Way Home. So. I guess we know that because the because the tree is still up. <laughs> yes, and Rockefeller. There you go. <laughs> That's how you know. It's true. The tree is still up. So that's why he's not in Hawkeye. Yeah, you know, even though everybody wanted to, it could yes. be. But this this I believe does take place after Falcon and Winter Soldier. Spider Man. Uh, yeah, I believe okay. so. I believe that kind of happened. Possibly when he was kind of on his European vacation type thing, uh, which kind of uh, makes sense because that's why he didn't show up there because they were in New York at, at one point. Or were they? I just remember a boat. 
They were all shrimp. That was New Orleans. So they, you know, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and also in that show, New Orleans is right next door to New York. It doesn't take oh, any time. Cool. Very close. To go. Yeah. It's like Gotham City Metropolis <laughs> close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, which is, yeah, it's, it's, oh, I yeah, which that. which she yeah she mentioned that it was mm-hmm. rebuilt or whatever in it, so that means it it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's done. It's 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 Hawkeye. Done. Also, yeah, in Spider Man, yeah, they're working on made it a Captain of Liberty, statue. which they reference also. It's still in, weird to me. Uh, Hawkeye. I don't know why they did that. Either. I wanted to see the news. I wanted weird. to see the. News <laughs> it's a Captain Liberty. America statue. Well, no, no, they well, had that, a shield. Well, I know they added the yeah, shield, added sh- right? Yeah, which seems yeah. bizarre. Yeah, and then the that new version kind of falls off. And then on the movie, on but... the book, on the book, it says, "I can do this all yeah. day." <laughs> oh God, please no! I know we're not talking about Hawkeye, but I'm still mad about that. Yeah, there's a button at the bottom. You hit that, and she sings oh, it. Oh, cool! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> they added a shield. That was. Hmm. All... Uh, I can do this all. <laughs> what? Yeah, not you have this to is crazy. Let's just, just talk about Hawkeye. Let me go change my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, if but if the the oh, lighting's oh, right, oh, it's a, oh, a, a, a <laughs> light sensor. So if you pass by it, it just all right. Plays. So in the comments, Vance is saying 2023 between July and late November, early December. Yes, that's right. So yeah, I, I think I said that date. <laughs> sure. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what you said. All right. <laughs> all right. So we got that cleared up. Now we can. We can dive in. Woo. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And and I mean it. it and it does. It, it would take place after WandaVision because mm-hmm. at the end, Doctor Strange goes to her. Uh, what? Yes. Well, I mean, yeah. What? I mean, the good news is they got trailer. past COVID, so that's for another. I mean, it was a trailer, but I mean, it's and that's the <laughs> scene that they should have had at the end of WandaVision. That was the one that I wanted. <laughs> Yeah. They probably shot it and were like, no, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> well, he was supposed to be in one division. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm wondering if that was like the moment that they had shot with I the intention we'll get of using it. Someone's like, that doesn't make sense in the timeline. We can't do this. Just get <laughs> I know, I know. I trapped a bunch of people in the town. Oh, I'm not here about that. I don't care. <laughs> I know I'm technically a villain <laughs> now, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Anyways. We've all done stuff. It's fine. We've all <laughs> okay. Overall, <laughs> overall view of No Way Home. What did you guys think? <laughs> I'll, I'll go first. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save Cajun for last. I think I know the Chris now. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, was good? <laughs> 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 that's our chris um no it was, it was really good it, it, it um it was very it was nostalgic nice. but new classic it chris made treat me laugh it made me cry um it was it was I, it was way more emotional than i thought i was gonna be yeah like watching it um and and not because of the the fact of we'll, we'll get to it someone's death <gasps> <laughs> I know. It's too soon. I know. Way too soon. Um, but just like just seeing like the the old characters come back and everything, it's just it just dredged up all this past with like Spider Man movies and stuff, and it just it, just, it really got you in the feels. A lot more than I thought it would. Sitting there watching it, I really liked it. It was good. I, I, what did you I agree. I agree with everything Chris said. Well, I think well, I right. also think they they Cajun. did no. they did throw back and they did nostalgia in a good way. You know, it wasn't just you know, yeah, it wasn't you know, kind of how they've been doing with other stuff, um, Matrix, Star Wars, uh, where it where it's just like, hey, remember these characters that you loved? They're back and they're old. You know, and it's like, um, I mean the uh, the characters in in this one, like the uh, the other Spider Man. I mean, they played a part. They were like characters. It wasn't just like, hey, remember me. I was Spider Man. I was Spider Man's Tobey Maguire, and I was Spider Man's <laughs> Andrew Garfield. Okay, bye. We're out. I mean, they were like part of the film, which was <laughs> um, really cool. So it, it was, uh, you know, it was interwoven well, yeah. so that they fit within the story, and they were kind of vital to what was going on in the uh, in the actual uh, uh, narrative. Um, I kind of wanted to see more at the end. I wanted to see like 
let's mm-hmm. let's see what's what's their universe like now. Let's you know, now that they've gone back, and I kind of feel like that's the one th- thing that that the film didn't deliver on in that respect. It was, it was, it was, it was all this setup. We got to save them. We got to do this. We got to do that. Um, does Doc Ock go back with the arc reactor? I don't know. We, you know they're just gone. We never see them again. Um, which was kind of <laughs> kind of a bummer. But that was the first movie I've seen since like COVID started and whatnot. We we ventured out to the theater and um, I was I had been even before the pandemic. Movies had been like letting me down. <laughs> I'd, I'd go and I'd be like, oh, <laughs> God, we spent a lot of money for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, but leaving the theater after Spider Man, I was like jazzed and excited, and I felt like I got my money's worth, and it was it was fun and emotional, like like Christmas saying. It was just a, a great ride, and I felt like, yay, going to the movies was cool again. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, yeah. So that that was what I thought. In a nutshell, uh, I yeah I I really enjoyed it. And I like Chris. I laughed. I cried. You know, it was the first movie that I I mean a long time. I'm, I'm trying to think of another movie where the crowd was just into it. There was clapping. Mm-hmm. There was cheering. There mm-hmm. was you know the <gasps> you know there was multiples of those. <laughs> 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 you know when certain characters just appeared on screen yeah. and then one character appeared on screen and I'm clapping I'm like yeah and then my wife looks at me and is like I don't he's, <laughs> Who is why are you clapping for this lawyer I don't understand <laughs> 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 what's going on I don't why is everybody clapping for a lawyer mm-hmm. like we love <laughs> the law <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> lawyers are awesome. He's that guy on the commercials for the five 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 zero one two three. So I'd explain that to her afterwards because she never watched. Sure, Daredevil. Texas Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I loved it. There's, um, I, I'm trying to think of something I didn't like about it. Uh, I mean, of course, she, you know, the death. Yeah, it sort of had to happen, but you didn't want it to happen. Did it? Did it have to? Well, um, <laughs> Cage was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess it didn't have to happen, but it sort of had to happen <laughs> for Spider Man's story. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we'll get all into that. But um, let's hear Debbie Downer. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Let's hear Catron's thoughts. I, I like on the, the movie. movie. Okay, don't get me wrong. It, I enjoy <laughs> watching it for the most part. Um, I Ryan asked me. He said, "What did you think?" And I uh, like that night because we both watched it on opening night about the same time. But um, mm-hmm. and I said, I, ha- "I haven't decided yet." And I I feel like I still haven't decided. Like I feel like I need to watch <laughs> it another time to really get it. But but. I felt like there were, it was kind of cheesy in some parts um, with some of the uh, the characters, so, like the way they were interacting and like, oh, look at this, I can do this, you know, it was, I don't know, it was, <laughs> it was funny and just, I don't know, just kind of cheesy, but um, I, I, I did enjoy it, but um, I didn't cheer like everybody did because I, I was like, I knew they were going to be in the movie because I watched all these, read all these things and saw all this stuff, you know, so it, it didn't. It, the only thing that was surprised really to me was that uh, with with the lawyer, right, <laughs> with uh, Daredevil. So uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, but uh, I, I don't know. I I I really liked um, the Tobey Maguire movies. Like that, those are the ones I really like a lot. I like the the, the new ones too. With um, what's his name? Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Yeah. Um, You've seen him in person. Yeah, um, Ryan, your mic just went weird. You might unplug and replug, but um, but I I like Tobey Maguire. It was kind of weird too that uh, and we can get into this, but Tobey Maguire is older than everybody else. Where it seemed like they pulled everybody out from uh, their a current event, you know, or whatever. Cool. But it's like he was the only one that seemed older than everybody else. And that was kind of weird, but also I, I kind of liked it because I was like, what if they made a movie with him as old Spider-Man, old man Spider-Man, you know? And it's like, let's, I want to see more of that. You were talking about like, what happens when they go back to the world? It's like, I want to see that story. Cause I really, again, I really like Tobey Maguire and, uh, you know, what happens 
when he goes back and he's this old man Spider Man, he's rejuvenated, like doing all this stuff again, and Mister Science. <laughs> but uh, it, anyways, <laughs> we can get into more. But I, I mean, again, I liked it. I just <laughs> I, I'm not over the moon like everybody else is with it. Uh, my wife was the same way. She's like, eh. <laughs> but I don't know. Well, I think Andrew Garfield's Spider Man. They took him kind of like currently, like they. It was yeah. after his two yeah. movies, so there was some sure. time after that. It's just it hasn't been as long because I think yeah. That yeah. it hasn't been as long as those movies. Because a lot of the older characters that they took, like Green Goblin and Doc Ock, they did their whole de aging, yeah, yeah, thing with them to make them look a lot younger. But they didn't, I, and I like they didn't do yeah. it with Toby. Use and they faster. didn't do it with Andrew Garfield. Use faster. <laughs> Use faster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Octavius <laughs> even mentions that you know that he's all grown up. You know, so they yeah. they acknowledge yeah. that. And it's a little bit weird. I mean, I know what Katrin's saying because I mean, we we're talking a little bit about it, like after you know me and my kids and whatnot. And there are some odd things because like Otto shouldn't have known that Norman was Green Goblin. No one really knew that he was Green Goblin. <laughs> right. no, Electro yeah. didn't really know that he was Spider Man. So why did he get pulled? Um, yeah. In the after credits, it's like why mm-hmm. did Eddie Brock get pulled? Because he didn't know who Spider Man was. So they they took some liberties, which I feel like you can you mm-hmm. can basically. I was telling this to my daughter. I was like, you know, if, if you're kind of taking the what if scenario where there is like a, a million different possibilities, there is a possibility that there is a universe in which everything in the Tobey Maguire movie happened exactly like we watched it, except for two things. Hmm. And that's the version that got <laughs> pulled into our universe, you know, or in, into this into this movie. Mm-hmm. Um just so that there, you know, there is that familiarity because if they pulled in a completely new Doc Ock, that like you're like, who's who's that guy? If it was like a different actor and a different outfit yeah. and everything, <laughs> it would be like you wouldn't have the same impact. So yeah. yeah. Um, but I feel like because you're dealing with multiverse, mm-hmm. you can just kind of you know write that off as yeah. Well, this sure. is Tobey Maguire from you know ten years later. He got pulled from that moment in time and Otto got pulled from like maybe 10 years previous. That's why he doesn't know that he's aged and you know what I mean? I guess you can have a little, a little bit of, uh, of fun with mm-hmm. it without it being a necessarily plot hole. But yeah. And I also figured it opened up time and space. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just sure. necessarily pulling in and, and like, and, and just because the Toby McCarr universe happened like so many years for us doesn't necessarily mean it was, happening sure. concurrently with what's happening here same with andrew garfield and stuff madness. like this kind of <laughs> madness <laughs> now the electro thing because i was the same way i'm like wait he didn't know but if you go back and watch that movie he never sees his face and everything but there's a point where it's him on the ground and gwen and spider-man and gwen goes parker or Peter Parker, or Parker, or something like that, right near him. So he <laughs> might know the name, he, or he might have put it together. <laughs> sure. I don't know. That's a stretch, yeah. but it does happen in the movie where she calls him by his name in front of him, <laughs> in front of Electro. That's, that's a stretch, but the, the Eddie Brock. Well, that one makes more sense Spider-Man because three. He oh, would well, that have known, yeah, that so bring... <laughs> But I don't think they wanted to bring in a different villain. Right. I think that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they de- they definitely did, you know picked and choose, which I think they did. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I kind of was hoping. I think I told uh, Chris this that I was I was really hoping to see Michael Keaton, and I thought I had because I avoided like all the spoilers. I mean, I knew in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, yeah. this either Spider Man, they they got to show up, they got to show up. Um, but I, you know, I know that you know there were the pictures that got leaked and this and that and the other. And honestly, at a certain point in the movie, I was like, well, maybe they aren't going to show up because it seems like they haven't you know popped in yet. Yeah. So I was like legitimately surprised when Garfield showed up. I was like, oh shoot, yeah. that's him. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that means Toby's coming. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, I, I didn't know like like what was going to happen necessarily because I didn't read all the spoilers and stuff. But um, but yeah, I was like, you know, I thought I had did read that Michael Keaton was on the set of No Way Home, and I was like, oh God, look away! And I was like, I, I kind of am in the back of my mind figured that since he knew his identity and da 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 da, and they're probably going to do the Sinister Six, that Vulture would be there. And it's like, really, they. He didn't get broken out of jail or 
join the join the group. He got replaced by a tree. I mean, seriously, um, <laughs> we're so close. You just need one more guy. That's it. He was there somewhere? Just wasn't. He was there, there in spirit? I'm with you guys in spirit. Yeah, yeah. I think that that thing that you might have saw that you kind of tried to avoid was him record like him filming uh, yes. stuff for Morbius. Oh, yes. And I think he had he went back and and redid some stuff for that movie because that movie got pushed back again. And if you guys saw that, Morbius got pushed back. Um, and I think it's because everyone is so enamored with Andrew Garfield and Spider Man now online that they're going in and they're changing stuff around to where they're making sure his Spider Man is a Spider Man. Well, the Oscar building's movie, already in the movie, so they can use him again. Yeah, the Oscar building, but then a there's a graffiti of Spider Man on a wall. But it it looks like Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Hmm. So I think they're digitally redoing that Spider Man and putting his Spider Man. And there. it says murderer. It says I murderer that, I on bet that's across the Spider Man, which makes sense because yeah. Andrew Garfield Spider Man basically says, "I stopped pulling my punches." So that means he's killed people. <laughs> of course. <You> know? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Which you know he that there was a time where he was actually <laughs> Spider Man the murderer <laughs> or whatever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I think that's going to be because they're talking about Sony's mm-hmm. Spider Man, Spider Verse, or whatever. I think that's going to be their main Spider Verse because they've they've got Venom, Morbius, and then Andrew Garfield Spider Man, and they'll pro- and they're doing like a Black Cat yeah. movie, and they're going to be doing a Craven yeah. the Hunter movie, which they've hired Aaron Taylor Johnson, the guy that played Quicksilver. Uh, the guy played Quicksilver to play Craven, so there's no way that's going to be the MCU universe <laughs> because it's the same actor. It's definitely got to be a different universe, and I bet so they can tie that all together in this kind of. Re- the thing with that, after this movie, if they want to like make, continue making, like we're sort of mm-hmm. suggesting, Tobey Maguire movies with him being older, and if they at the same time wanted to continue making Andrew Garfield movies and Tom Holland movies, I think mm-hmm. everybody would like. Because I mean, they basically said that look, these. Everything that we have put out there, all of our reboots, they actually all coexist in like different multiverses, and they have their own different stories. And da 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 da. So, here, let's watch this version mm-hmm. of Spider Man. Let's watch this version of Spider Man, and watch this version. And as long as they're good, it's like you know we're already paying for them anyway. Every time they reboot Batman, everybody goes to see it. So, yeah, um, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, it's it's definitely a win-win situation for them. Like, I mean, th- with this movie, I think mm-hmm. they they've set it up to where they can kind of do stuff like that, and do like like Logan, do an yeah. old man, uh, Spidey, and do that that coincides with it because they already got the animated yeah. Into the Spider Verse that they're doing as well, yeah. and that's using the same characters but it's different. Be cool. So it's gonna be nutty. I'm up, I'm up for more Spider. I was you one of the few it. people that from the beginning mm-hmm. liked. I mean, really like the Andrew Garfield Spider Man. I, I liked him. I mean, I, I liked, liked him. him. I it's just the stories were. I yeah. yeah. Well, I liked him as mm-hmm. Spider Man, yeah. so it was just fun seeing. Him. Yeah, I I liked him, and I enjoyed the first movie. Mm-hmm. The second movie, yeah. it was just the villains brought it down. Like it was really the villains that brought it down. In the second one because <laughs> they just made one goofy and then one yeah. whiny. And I'm glad was, Garfield's back. And Electro yeah, was so work. awesome in this. I mean, I was oh, yeah, again. I was showing my I was showing my daughter. We're looking at concept art. Yeah, for because you know you guys oh, obviously so notice whenever he would like do his bolts, he'd get the electric thing on his face. Yeah. You know, like the comic. And I was like, now look at this. Look, look, look at what, mm-hmm. what they did for this movie. <laughs> Who made the decision to do this? For the Amazing Spider-Man <laughs> 2. And he's blue, and he's in a Star Trek outfit, and I'm like, what were they thinking? Mm. Well, the problem with that, so they went, so in comics, yeah. there's like the regular Spider-Man comics, and they have the ultimate Spider-Man yeah. comics, which is a different universe, and, and well, that's where they pulled else, right? their Electro from. But they didn't pull his... Yeah. yeah, but they didn't pull it. That's where they pulled his look, but they didn't pull his storyline. Yeah, he was kind of like Jim Carrey Riddler. Really <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a geek working at Oscorp. Yeah, uh. yeah. Spider Man didn't come to my. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Why didn't Spider Man come to my birthday party? I hate him. 
Yeah. And then that there was, was silence. <laughs> So Sorry, they, so I thought they you guys were talking the, on Friday. They did the aging on, uh, <laughs> on uh, <laughs> William Defoe. Yeah, they 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 de-aged yeah. um, uh, Norm. Yeah, William Defoe okay. um, and um, Alfred Molina. They de-aged both of them uh, because, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, if you watch actual like footage of them talking, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. discussing movie yeah. I mean they they've aged. I mean they like Toby Fire, they've aged. So and and that was like Alpha Merlina's like one thing when they approached him. <laughs> He's like, I don't I mean look at me. I don't I don't think I can <laughs> I don't think I can pull that off. And they're like, oh no, 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 no I was thinking when computers. I was watching I was like, damn they look really good. Like, All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they've aged really well. <laughs> yeah. That's my wife my wife was thinking the same thing. She's like, "Man, Toby <laughs> McGuire really aged." Man, oh my gosh! Poor Toby. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, you're, Ryan, Ryan, you're, oh, you're dipping Ryan. into the Spider Verse. My favorite character, though, yeah. in the movie with it, we can we talk about the villains was uh, is the Green Goblin, of course. I, I, oh I yeah, mean, yeah, and that was cool that they made him the oh, main definitely. villain, yeah. right? Mm. Um, but it was cool how he, um, mm-hmm. when he revealed that he was really tricking everybody, and and all of a sudden he looked like the goblin from the cartoons that I remember watching. You know, right? The purple hood and yeah, and the green outfit, <laughs> and I was like, that is so cool. You know, that was that was my this is cool moment. That, you know, that was <laughs> but, great when he busted the helmet and all, yeah. and I was like, oh, no more helmet, yeah. yay! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and which which mimicked the Spider Man No More cover that they did, which they uh, homaged in the second Spider Man, basically like the the suit by the trash can and him walking mm. away. It was the, his broken helmet by the trash can and him walking away. He was another one we were looking that. at, that like really what cool. they did originally. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, this is the Green Goblin. Look what they did in that first movie. And look what they did in this movie. What were they thinking yeah. back then? Look yeah. how cool he looks. And he still has his, his armor and stuff. But yeah, the hoodie <laughs> and it's all torn and you can see yeah. his face. I mean, that's the thing, you know, that always got me with the the Tobey Maguire and the first Spider-Man movie was you could not see the actor's face. And William Dafoe was like just, when he's like <laughs> smacking him and he's just like cackling and laughing and his, he looks nuts. Eyes, it's like, right? he's, yeah, he's all eyes, like... Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's like, can you imagine all of that behind a mask? Yeah. I mean, it would yeah. not have uh, played as well. Mm. I, I, mm. sure. I get why they used a mask, not necessarily that mask, but in the sure. original Spider Man movie, yeah, yeah. it was like a, oh, who is this? Because you can't see his face, so that was the whole mystery behind like the Green Goblin or whatever. Because uh, I mean, if yeah. he had, but his he face has like out, in this one, he has like he the hood, like, and he has the like, goggles. What the heck? You know, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, they they could have done it better. There's there's um, a video online of a test that they did on that original movie that has I've like an it. animatronic Green Goblin face that has like the eyes. Yeah, it's like so it it can emote, it can like open its mouth and do all this cool stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> good looking. <laughs> But they didn't go with it. They went with the Power yeah. Rangers. Yeah. Now, Green Goblin. This was like the best Green Goblin. I don't know. <laughs> and it was great that William Dafoe got to like do it again. He got to yeah. be, be Green Goblin again and like be like full on like at a oh at, like, yeah. twelve and, Green Goblin. I mean that was that was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. really. And and he apparently yep. was still doing his own. He was stuff. really on the glider, flying yeah. around. Supposedly, like, yeah. When he came in, he's like, <laughs> "I'll do this." For the most part, yeah, like because the in the original he wow. did like his own stunts, and he said, "If I'm coming back, I want to do my own stunts again." So that was really cool, and I didn't, I don't think I knew this, but uh, I read this for this one because he did it in the original. When he's Norman Osborn, he actually has like <laughs> they made him fake teeth that look like nice and straight and perfect. Wow. But then when he transfers <laughs> to the Goblin, he they they remove those teeth. <laughs> And so and that's just his actual. No, teeth. no, no. We're gonna use my actual teeth when I'm the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, I think my mic is working. <laughs> oh, oh, man, come out and play. Let's talk about Aunt May. <laughs> Good old Aunt May. Aunt May. <laughs> get it out of the way. Let's get it out of the way. Right, what get did it you out of the way. Can't believe it. <laughs> so she basically took the Uncle Ben role. <laughs> In this movie, and there wasn't an Uncle Ben. 
Right. There is an Uncle Ben, but they never showed him or talked about him. Okay. But he has his, in the first Homecoming movie, the suitcases he he uses belong to his Uncle Ben. Gotcha. Mm. Oh, whatever. Right. One of them. Right. I know what you mean. Well, I was in, in one uh, of them. Far from home. Yeah. That's what he's <laughs> he used a suitcase. And yeah. But yeah. Um <laughs> in um, in Civil War, um, yeah. it's he's alluded to a couple times, I think. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it's yeah. never like, Oh yeah, my Uncle Ben. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. We don't, we don't talk about him. Uncle Ben. He's Bruno. No. Yeah, they kind of implied it, which I was glad at the time because I was like, "Oh my gosh, do we need to see <laughs> yeah. Uncle Ben die again?" Right. Yeah. You no, know? <laughs> oh, we get to see Aunt May. There we go. That was new. That was different. <laughs> <sighs> there was a brief moment where I thought, "Oh no, she's going to survive," and then they're like, "Nope." I know. Yeah, she was just like, that. Be dead. Ooh, ooh, I pulled something. I'm okay. I'm all right. Oh wait, no, I'm bleeding out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like uh, you kind of like bent in half as you like the glider I do burst bodies behind you. I don't I don't think you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hot, I am. Yeah, I, I, I stretched before. It's all right. <laughs> I figured somebody was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured somebody was. Hey, gonna Sally feels hot. Anyway. Come on, and it just happened to, to land on poor Aunt May. Like literally, it landed. Like, it, it makes sense. Shots too. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it does. And they use the phrase from the comics, right? Because it was different in the other movies. Yeah. I mean, the wording, uh, slightly. So they actually use the the verbiage slightly from the comics. I think from the original comic. Okay. There's a little. There's like yeah, a little I'm tweak. Yeah. Get the the little tweak. There's like a word or something. So yeah. So. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it moved the story along. It was. It had a point to it. So. And yeah, I mean, and and that's I mean that's kind of a Spider-Man yeah, story. Yeah. You read the comics; yeah. there are people dying all around them, left and right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. You, you don't want to know Spider-Man. No one does. Like you don't. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Which that makes the end scene in the in the cafe, you know, really drive that home that he's seen Aunt May die. He's seen other people die because mm-hmm. of him, and now he's like, I don't want my MJ. Mm-hmm. To die, he sees that bandage. That's skipping ahead, but yeah, um, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. He seems them happy. But she's still wearing the necklace. Going to college. I wonder where she's, what in yeah, her mind. Still like, wearing is the it still in there necklace. somewhere that Peter Parker gave that to her. Well, it's it's, it's still why. special to her, but that, she just doesn't. I thought that know was interesting, why. though, that it, the way it ended because it was. <laughs> As if they never knew him, but yeah. these things still happen. So any of the things that have happened through in game, yes. through all these things, you know, like what what do people think happened then if he wasn't there? Well, they know Spider Man. They just don't. Well, know uh, Peter. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm yeah, sorry. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I got so you. they would retain yeah. all the memories right. of dealing with Spider Man, but they Who don't is know this web exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. mixed up with them. You're right. <laughs> So mm-hmm. does that mean all video, all pictures, everything yep. disappears? And mm-hmm. does it apply yeah. for... You can like basically just go off the grid now. I mean, you know, he's... Or he's, the whole universe. Mm-hmm. Like, that was my question. So when Sam or when Nick Fury comes back from being out in space, or if he ever were to meet up with the Guardians again, would they be like, Peter, yeah. and, 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 you know me? <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> to to me, it seems like it affects mm. all space and time because the the spell kind of like affects the entire world. Because it was, yeah, he said the entire world. I know, I know. I, but uh, he, yeah, well, I think he it would be a lot. little more interesting yeah. if down the road <laughs> when he encounters people from space. Mm-hmm. Like Captain know, Marvel, yeah. if they're like, but yeah, yeah, because it would take they would, it would take it. him by surprise, yeah. mm-hmm. and that would be a sort of like gut wrenching moment where he's like, somebody knows me, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm known again, mm-hmm. and I and think and I don't know, Chris might I might disagree, but I think I think I mentioned this to you. I think Strange still knows because hmm. I think I think he could easily cast it. I mean. Why would you have your own spells like affect you? Because so now that he's like when his movie starts and then the multiverse has been cracked open, 
wouldn't he kind of remember that, yeah, I kind of did that thing for Peter and I kind of screwed some stuff up. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I feel like he doesn't because that that's still an opening for the multiverse to leak through. It, it's like, oh, it's it, there would be a crack. He could do this almost. Do that, that could and he could put that crack inside because of a thing. One person and knows. Put that thing in his refrigerator, <laughs> and then it would be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That thing, thing, thing in a hole in a log. All right. So here's the question for you. <laughs> so he, they, Peter and Doctor Strange have their moment. He's like, okay, everybody can know whatever, and then he goes down to say his goodbyes. Why didn't he just stay there? And then when it happened, he'd be like, okay, guys, it's me. I'm Spider-Man. I'm Peter Parker. I want to tell you everything. And instead of being like, man, thank you. You know, I love you. Okay, I got to go now. See you later. And then he <laughs> shoots off. Because in that moment, he still wants MJ to know who he is. He hasn't had that. Well, mm-hmm. I think... So why didn't he just be like, oh, if I just stay here, you know, maybe uh... I can explain it to her. I feel like it would. He wants to do it in a more loving way, a more gentle way, and them just like so, mm-hmm. like all that kind of like, boom, everything's happened and everything, and then so like, oh yeah, by the way, you just forgot everything. Yeah, I think kind of, that was a smart girl. Crazy. More like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, crazy. Yeah, they may learn it again, but at least they yeah. don't have all those mm-hmm. She'll bad figure out memories of right. all that, that happened. Well, my burning question is, what the <laughs> heck is going on at Stark Industries? Mm-hmm. And is Happy stealing equipment? What's go- what's happening there? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of like, at the end of the movie, I was like, that was a weird sort of semi-subplot. Yeah, he's just that lifting just stuff here and there. Happen. <laughs> he, he stole a bunch of stuff. He has a big map, like the Epcot-like map. Yeah. On his wall. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of that stuff he's taken because mm-hmm. it's almost like like mementos of of Stark. It's still kind of yeah, close. Yeah. Like the the one robot arm, which is kind but of. But Murdoch's like telling me he has to be better or whatever, and this and that and the other. Um, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like that's going to pop uh, up. Yeah, that's yeah. that's going to be mm. Armor Wars. That's um, with War Machine. Because missing Stark tech um, and things like that, I don't think it's all him. I think he took a couple things. So he was like, "Before we leave the MCU, like we're going to do you a solid. That we're going <laughs> to throw you a bone for one of your shows." All right, we're out. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Well, they threw a couple bones. There was that mm-hmm. one, and then <gasps> them saying, "Well, Nick Fury's been gone a year or whatever," and he's like, "What?" So that's a little like. Oh, don't forget about this. We got Secret Invasion coming. Remember the scrolls? <laughs> um, okay, so. Um, where was I? Let's talk about the the people in the sky. <laughs> oh, the sky people. So, the sky people. So, when it breaks through, uh-huh. it's all purple, uh-huh. cracks in the sky. Um, you see images. You see someone that that clear that looks like Craven, right? He's yeah. got the spear and the. You see, mm. yeah, we're gonna yeah. Just... that's about the so only like, one I saw. I'm gonna I was do like this movie. On that one. Oh really? Like, oh. <laughs> I, know, okay. I I saw I saw t- three. Like I caught three. Well, no, I caught two. No, I caught two because I didn't see Craven at yeah, first. Yeah, Rhino was actually. easy spot. The two I saw were the Rhino, mm-hmm. which is. Which is more of the comic book Rhino, and it's not the big mechanical suit. And the other one I saw yeah, okay. was Scorpion because I saw the Scorpion tail. Those are the two I made out because yeah, everything yeah, those go like by really Mickey's. quickly. They don't linger on them. Um, Online, there's been screenshots yeah. of them, and somebody <laughs> says that one of them looks like maybe Spider Gwen or Miles Morales. One of them looks like. Uh, Matt, is it Madam mm-hmm. Spider or what's her name? Madam Web. Madam Web, which yeah, she's which is integral to the Spider Man Spider Verse because yeah. she kind of she she watches all of it. She's like almost like an oracle or whatever for if if you watch the old Spider Man nineties cartoon, hmm. 
like when that was ending, she was a character in that and brought multiple Spider-Man from all the Spider-Verse to like stop a big big thing that was oh, happening. Fine. That's where Spider Man got to meet Stan Lee and swing him around. And then I'm trying to think if there's any other ones. <laughs> there was one that somebody said that it looks like he has like a bunch of arms. And it could be that Spider Man that has a bunch of arms or Carnage yeah, or which... Yeah, it it it, there was yeah there was multiple ones that could be it, I mean to mm, me yeah. at first it looked like almost like another Doctor Octopus. Um, yeah. It could be the Spider Man Doctor Octopus in the comics. At one point, Doctor Octopus puts his brain waves inside of Spider Man, so he kind of takes over his body. Oh, please don't and, do that! In the and movies. becomes <laughs> like the the oh yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, the Superior Spider Man. I think that's what he we called himself. Because uh, he had mechanical spider arms that came out, and then yeah, there was the the one Spider Man who's yes. I, I, f- I forget what he was, but he, yeah, yeah, he's like a it's he's stuff. like a demon <laughs> Spider Man basically. Yeah. He's got like like really sharp teeth, and he's got multiple arms. He was in Maximum Carnage, that comic book series that had Carnage in it. He was one of Carnage. No Spider Ham. There was no Spider Ham. I didn't see a uh, spider. <laughs> so yeah, there's. Oh, okay. So there's probably I, don't, I don't remember. It. Like, there may have been a little <laughs> dot somewhere that pulled out a hammer. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else in the movie. Of, co- of course, they did the meme. They did the, uh, the three King. Spider-Man yeah. meme. Look, the subtle, but they other. did it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was great. I like that part. Uh, we got to see mm-hmm. the science of, or the yeah. scientist in Tobey mm-hmm. Maguire, which we really haven't seen that before. Right. Not as much as the other two. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, he he was going to school for for all that, but like he he was more. He didn't focused really have to because his weapons shoot out of his body. Together, <laughs> he just shoot out anywhere else. And they were all disgusted <laughs> by that, like the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Like you ever like says like so you don't have to worry about like it ever jamming up or anything. Like, well, yeah, really, I I would I love the the three of them when they came sw- swinging in together and they did sort of like the the money shot with them all landing. I, yeah. I wanted I wanted more of those moments because it just graphically it just looked so oh, yeah. cool. The three of them swinging across the sky. I was like, oh, do more of that. But they kind of <laughs> did you mm-hmm. see how they did you notice how they landed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All like in their signature sort of no no like how they land like. The, the mm-hmm. order. Oh no! It was Toby, and then Garfield, and then Holland. Oh, so it was one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh, nice. <laughs> That's cool. And and then yeah, the the big shot with yeah. all three of them jumping towards all the villains that was edited. Uh, but but and <laughs> you found out why the lizard like got his head cocked to yep. the side though. Um, in that one trailer. I don't know if you saw that Brazilian trailer. Saw that, but yeah, there was the. <laughs> there was one trailer, uh, yeah, the Brazilian trailer, where they edited out the Spider-Man, but for some oh. reason, that they, they continued the shot longer, oh. and you saw the lizard's head By being like, invisible to the side. Ah. and so like the lizard's <laughs> jumping, and suddenly he's just. Something this... at home. <laughs> <laughs> so that was when people were like, oh, "See, that's, that's why." I mean, I watched the first Spider-Man doing that trailer that <laughs> revealed Doc Ock. Um, and that was it. I didn't watch anything else. And I was so uh, glad. I was so glad because the thing is, even if stuff doesn't get spoiled, as soon as that scene started <laughs> to take place when there's traffic on the bridge and whatnot, I was like, oh, this is when Ock, this is when Doc Ock shows up. And I just, I had that knowledge in my head because yeah, of that, because yeah. of that trailer. And, um, and I, and, and again, I mean, I think, you know, people had been rumoring and, and whatnot that, that, that the lawyer that was walking around the cell <laughs> In the trailer, in that first trailer, that, that's going to be Matt Murdock. Matt Murdock, and I was like, "Yeah, oh god, people are like getting crazy." But then on Hawkeye, which I don't know, spoiler for Hawkeye, when a certain someone showed up on Hawkeye, I was like, "Matt Murdock is going to be in Spider Man." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "He's got to be. He's got to be." <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it was just you know, I, mm-hmm. again, it just sort of reinforced my my no spoilers, no trailer policy because it's it was so fun again to kind of just discover it and not know like oh this Mm -hmm. must be that scene that i saw in the trailer where you know 
they put the tree in the cell or whatever the heck. <laughs> um, but, uh, and we have a new sorcerer, I guess, a new Ned? person of magic, Ned. Magic Ned. <laughs> Who will Ned, not become yep. a bad guy and kill his best friend. Which I feel like they tried to. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> All that's been erased from his head now. And really, in the comics, like he, he didn't necessarily like at first. He was kind of forced into it. So the real hobgoblin, like, knocked him out, put him in the hobgoblin suit, and and let the police find him. Yeah. So they're like, oh, he's the hobgoblin. That's kind of like, and it ended up messing with his head and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so he didn't do it on his own. Yeah, I thought so. it was hilarious. But, scene, though. Like, yeah, yeah now everything's been wiped. <laughs> Try to kill me. <laughs> He's like, what? So, so the one thing I wish they'd followed up on a little bit, and I don't know if they ever will. Maybe they will at some point. But um, when. He's fighting Doctor Strange, yeah. and Doctor Strange knocks his astral form out of his body. Yeah, he was still able to move his body and control it, and he was able to kind of kind of move himself and put himself back into his body and everything. And even Doctor Strange was like, uh, "Are you doing this? <laughs> like, what is?" I heard a like, theory about know. that. So, it, so it was it was a great moment. It was I heard funny, a theory about but that. like, oh, they has to do with never followed up on it. That basically because she's sort of the center of the um, spider or whatever verse or whatever that she um, controls stuff and she sort of gave him the ability to. Well, it's a cool theory. Will it happen? Probably not. Probably but just it's a cool for theory. humor. <laughs> yeah. <More> than, <laughs> we think about these things way too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was that one receipt <laughs> from <laughs> the donut shop. That, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Waterville. <laughs> The water bill. I'll never live that down. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, favorite, if you had to pick your favorite scene from the, one of the, or at least one of your favorite scenes, or maybe top three, if you want to do top three favorite scenes, um, what would it be? Or moments in the movie? What's your favorite moments? Andrew Garfield. Yeah, start. Andrew Garfield <laughs> saving MJ. Oh, that's my favorite too. I know. Oh, I think it's everybody's. I loved it. It was great. That was good. I, don't know. Yeah, I, I was, was like, oh, yeah. one of those gonna, things. Gonna, like, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> my wife is like, what are you I doing? couldn't save my girlfriend, but I'll save Josh. <laughs> that was just, <laughs> and 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 when we did our <laughs> prediction or conspiracy theories about it, that, was one of the things that I said. I'm like, he's going to save her, and he did. And I was just like, oh, just, I was right one time. Yeah. <laughs> but you know that, that's that's, so that's a, it's a great moment where you definitely <laughs> that's need my to know the source material. If you hadn't seen the movie yeah. and you didn't know, it, it wouldn't have had the yeah. same impact. You know, that's mm-hmm. one thing I will say that. Um, yeah, because I mean, for a lot of it, you know, you didn't really have to do the reading if you if you hadn't watched any of the other films. It's kind of like into the Spider Verse. You just accept that you know, oh, there's all these villains. Oh, there's more Spider Man. Whatever, whatever. Um, but yeah, you, you don't get some of the jokes and you don't, uh, mm-hmm. quite understand, you know, kind of like with the web shooters and stuff like that, yeah. unless you kind of know the, uh, the history, but that moment was, mm-hmm. and I was telling Chris about this earlier today, we were kind of talking about it, but Andrew Garfield is just so good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think one of the reasons why I liked him in the amazing Spider-Man, he, I feel like yeah. he does have a lot of charisma and he's very different than Toby. I mean, all three of them mm-hmm. are very different with their portrayals. Um, mm-hmm. but there's just something really, um, uh, charismatic and likable about Andrew Garfield, <laughs> Spider-Man that yeah. y- you feel for the guy. And, <laughs> and then when he has that moment, you're like, man, good for you. You know, <laughs> closure. Mm. Yeah. I, I think we've, I think we discussed it before, but yeah, it's just like with Tom McGuire, Spider-Man, I thought he was a perfect Peter Parker with Andrew Garfield. I thought he was the perfect Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Because he just he he got the humor taunting. down, he got the sarcasm, he got the playfulness, um, yeah, the taunting and everything. Yeah. And I think he just I think he nailed that aspect of him. And to me, yeah, that's why I like him so much. Is it just he 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 knew how to be kind of playful with it a yeah, little bit more, and I, I I like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go. Ahead. Uh, probably one of my favorite scenes. Oh. <laughs> I, Tom Holland's not even in it. Um, it's 
it's it's yeah the the oh, scene yes. where um, so Ned brings the two Peter Parkers <laughs> there, because um, it was because uh, I mean going into this I was like yeah they'll they'll probably show up yeah Andrew and Toby and they'll be in there for like five minutes and do their thing and everything and they they came into the scene and the scene just kept going yeah. and it just was just embracing it and it was it was just great the the moment that. Uh, Ned opened up the portal, just yeah. kind of like, "Hey, I can open a portal," <laughs> um, which is just kind of funny. Um, and you see him in the alleyway, and he turns, <laughs> and you see the eyes. I was like, "That's Andrew Garfield." And I'm like, "That's those eyes are big and bright. Like that's not that's not this Spider Man. That's the Andrew Garfield Spider Man." And then he came running out of the shadows. Skinny guy, like, "Yeah, wonderful." I was like, "That was so great." Um, Mm-hmm. And which, I mean, to me, like he's when he comes Peter to the portal, Parker. he's Spider Man. When Toby comes to the portal, he's Peter Parker. <laughs> and to me, that's like, mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. That's Peter Parker, and that's Spider Man to me. Like that's that's like a perfect way to introduce both. Yeah. Of them. <laughs> and of course, the whole like, we'll do something, dude. Like, oh. get, like walk, walk walk on the ceiling. What are you like? He just hops up there. Like, <laughs> all right. He's like, we'll crawl. Like, this isn't enough. You got this. And she's like, oh, that was, she was throwing hilarious. bread at him. And then the grandma, <laughs> like the grandma, was hilarious. Um, as I, it was just, it was just a great because I mean, it, it was also the scene, like almost like not necessarily directly after, mm-hmm. but after Aunt May had died, and so that was very emotional. And yeah. then to jump into this kind of nice light scene, that kind of gave you hope and everything, and just like kind of pepped you up more yeah it was just, i can't was, think of a better way to really nicely that placed, they could have introduced really them. <laughs> it was just really really well done i guess there was supposed to be before they did this idea they said that there was another marvel character that was going to introduce these two peters into this universe oh. but they didn't say which marvel character it was they wouldn't say yes but they did confirm there was a different marvel character that was going to come in to introduce or other Peter Parkers, but so this is going to be a new character, or could it have been strange? Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. to me, it seems like it would be a new character because they didn't say mm-hmm. if it yeah. was mm-hmm. strange. I think they would just said, "Yeah, we were just going to have Strange do it," or right. like even if it was like Scarlet Witch. Like I think it was if it was someone we'd seen so before. I think they would have said, but since they didn't say. Who do you think? Yeah, it I think been? it's someone that they're going to introduce. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Like, it, I mean, Madam Web is a, is a is a good one. Um, it could be yeah. someone from the next Spider Verse movie, possibly because that takes that's a big Spider Verse thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, other than that, I mean, it could have been Mephisto. Don't you know? tempt. No. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you mention his name? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) As long as it's not on the term. I'm waiting for Disney Plus. Yeah, me too. (laughs) Excellent. Yeah, you can wait for Disney Plus. It's not. It's not horror. It's not bad, but it's just like (laughs) all right. That was a movie. All right, let's talk. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, where was the TV? Uh, question have been asked. I've seen. Where was the TVA during all this? They're going to clean up the mess later. Yeah. Uh, there, I mean, there's a lot of Loki. Like they're like they could be either. I mean, you don't necessarily know. I, I don't know if they said exactly where Loki takes place, but I mean, Loki. Yeah. At the start yeah. of it takes place in Avengers, the first Avengers movie. Um, so I mean, hmm. like that's been a while from from now. Yeah, so, but isn't the TVA like, kind TVA of like, a void point, of time and space? Like, yeah, it could be time and space doesn't really matter to them. So, yeah. So I mean, yeah. It, it, <laughs> uh, well, I think it was just like you start thinking about it, your head's gonna hurt. Like the people <laughs> making the movie. It was all supposed don't look to over happen. Here, Loki. Like the Avengers this, traveling through time. That was all supposed matter. to happen. Yeah. But there weren't any variants, like, though, in this, like, right? They were the all TV them game. coming so into another dimension. Like, they got sent back to their dimension, so there weren't... Of course, that did create branch timelines. Chris's <laughs> head's about to explode. Well, I mean... <laughs> now my head's going to explode. Branch timelines. 
Yeah, I know. My head's gonna explode. Yes. If you look at Loki, there's one timeline. Yeah. Like, it's just the one timeline. At least that's what they showed us. Like, this is what the TVA believes is happening. Now, it could be that there were already a multiverse and multi timelines. It's just the TVA to themselves were like tricking the audience because we wouldn't world. know it. And so you go, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I know. But if, 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 if you go to where Kang, not, <laughs> Kang, not Kang, <laughs> was it the one looking confronts him, and you see the space around him, which is supposedly represents the timeline, it's, it's, whole it's like one nice timeline right, yeah. and when things start so happening you start to see the branches of the moment sky. in loki coincided perhaps with strange casting the spell because there's a, a moment in, in in loki where kang he's yeah. he's waiting for something to happen and then there's a moment where he's like it's you know he, he it, it's happened whatever whatever it is has happened and now it's going to, yeah, you know, you're going to kill me and, and time is going to get fractured. And I'm wondering if Strange's spell was the thing was that started it. That was the catalyst. And then they, you know, they kill Kang and then, boom, the multiverse of madness gets created. Yeah, I feel like it's multiple things. I feel like it's that. It's um, he he also, yeah, Kang, not Kang, whatever, uh Immortus, maybe is what they called him in that. Um, he's he's seen all the possibilities, so he like um, the the chosen one. It's not the chosen one. I forget what they call ancient one. The, what they call the, the Sorcerer Supreme, the original one, the right, uh, yeah, ancient one. She couldn't see beyond her death, and so with him, he he mm, also yeah. couldn't really see beyond his death. So he saw to that point. And I also hears think the it kids, coincides yeah. with the, in the yeah. WandaVision at the end. She hears the kids. It's like all these things kind of happen. Which also coincides to when Falcon like, and the okay, Winter Soldier were on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> the boat caused it all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and and suddenly they, they can it's fix the boat, together. no problem. Yeah. <laughs> with all their knowledge of war. <laughs> um but like within that I was like the multiverse and branches where they've explained it in uh Marvel, it's like they fix the villains or send mm-hmm. them back, but really yeah. that's caused another branch to me. Because they've changed. So they're not going back to that timeline. There's still gonna be a Doc Ock that dies, there's still gonna be a Greek goblin that dies. But unless they go they right saved back to the variant, where they die. Basically. They created variants. But that would be that would be an alternate timeline. Like they're I mean, like which, Doc Ock goes and I in, he's like, oh. he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm happy. Uh. Yeah, that was <laughs> well. Yeah. The, the one, th- the one villain I thought they could send them exactly back and it would stay yeah. whole was the Green Goblin, because like when the when the glider's coming at him, you almost see a mm-hmm. moment in his yeah. eyes where it's like it's definitely Norman again. And he's like, oh no. And so <laughs> it's like, if he pops back right that second, he's like, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> and he's like, don't, don't. And so that's why he's like, don't tell Harry. Like, it's me again. But see, we don't I'm know. Sorry. Though. I mean, was that the thing he got pulled? I mean, you know, because <laughs> we don't know. But yeah, we don't know. I don't yeah. think it is. Uh, I don't think it is because he still had his helmet. Right. I mean, the reality is, he didn't look like him in little about the Martin when he showed up. I mean, um, we just don't know that much. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The, the the one that I think still died was Doctor Octopus because when he does show yeah. up and he's explaining like I had Spider Man there and everything, that was when his machine Unless was overloading. It was and the only another thing was universe that was very similar to that <laughs> one, but just a little bit different. <laughs> Yeah. And becomes iron, or if he still had the arc reactor and oh, he could maybe. absorb it using the arc. But I, so I, I like, like to think <laughs> like the possibilities are endless. Yeah, well, I like to think that it was the the characters that we knew, right? And those yeah, yeah. those uh, villains and everything. And it's like so now it makes me think it's like okay, so what happens to those movies or you know the, the things that happen in those movies? Is that change that history? I mean, that's the whole point of the multiverse of madness, right? It 
it causes so what if doc ock doesn't die and that reactor is okay and it Mm -hmm. you know they fix it or whatever and so how does that change the world and um just all those different things that maybe don't happen because these are good guys now you know Mm -hmm. it's interesting let's go rewatch the movies maybe they've changed yeah (laughs) <laughs> all right let's talk about still let's die. talk about in credit still scenes still oh yes uh, <laughs> so we i i have not seen the second venom mm. i have seen I no venoms yet. no venoms i've seen no venoms oh oh that's okay i watched it recent <laughs> i actually yeah. the the first venom yeah. is fun like i mean it's it's definitely different from the comics and everything but it's fun um the second one I just watched recently, <laughs> Let There Be Carnage, and it's entertaining. Like it has, it has some good moments, oh, but it God. also has some like really you're doing that <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so it, it's it, it has some fun stuff. But it also has some like ah, oh, jeez, <laughs> like you're 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 going yeah. back to the Amazing Spider-Man yeah. storyline, like. Disappointment. So there's an end credit scene um, in that one, right? <laughs> so, so yeah, that one. So there's an end credit scene <laughs> in that one, watch. and this doesn't spoil anything for the movie or anything for for Venom. Um, he's he's in like Mexico or somewhere like that because he's he's had to he's had to run off, um, and it's it's like this dump of a hotel room, and they're sitting watching like this Mexican mm, soap yeah. opera, which is basically. Shows you they're in Mexico, I guess. That's why they put it on TV. Um, and and he's talking to Venom, and Venom's like, "Oh, you, like you you don't know anything, Eddie Brock. The stuff that I know with the with the symbiote hive mind." And he's like, "What? What are you talking about?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'd blow your head off if I told you everything you that that the hive mind knows." He's like, and "It's like I'll, I'll give you a little little taste or whatever." And so it it seems like he's going to mm-hmm. inject some kind of knowledge into Eddie Brock's head. And then suddenly all this stuff starts like kind of shaking out around him and everything. And the environment changes to this really yeah. nice hotel room in Mexico. <laughs> and he's like, what'd you do? He's like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> What's going on? Um, and then suddenly on the TV, you see J Jonah Jameson from the MCU universe, uh, uh... revealing that Peter Parker, is Spider-Man. And that kind of grabs their attention. They're like, who's this? And Venom's so like, I don't know, but I like him. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, and, that, so, and that's where it ends. And so in this end credit scene, that's why you see him in a bar in Mexico. And the guy's like telling him about the whole universe. And he goes, uh, well, maybe I need to go talk to this spider guy or whatever. And then I see. Not all of so, when the, so when the hotel back, room changes, that's him universe. getting sucked into it, this movie. No way home, I see. Which would have been in... Yes. Yeah. Right. But he wasn't in New York He's like in all the other characters. He was in Mexico. And the yeah, and so there is no Peter Parker yeah. or he wouldn't know who Peter mm-hmm. Parker is because they've disconnected that from Venom in that movie. But supposedly people have theorized that the Venom symbiote hive mind yeah. is connected to the multiverse. <laughs> And so that venom would be connected to other venoms, and so the symbiote would know. And since they're yeah. bonded, it brought Makes Eddie. Perfect sense. Whoa, to mama! This that's what they're. Which, which to me, that's to me, that's why. Like another little thing, I think mm. that yeah. they're linking Andrew Garfield to that universe because that venom might know like. So Spider-Man, the bit so of goo have a that's left in the bar, is that just a little ha-ha? You think they're going to do anything with that? Mexican bartender venom? I don't know. Because, like, <laughs> I mean, technically, the comic book guy, me, yeah, I know. The comic book guy, I mean, is like, that's not how symbiotes work. Because it's not like he right. left venom. And every time that happens, he it becomes a new spawn of venom. something, right? Yeah. So it wouldn't be venom. It becomes a new symbiote. That's why. That's how we got Carnage. That's how we got multiple symbiotes. Um, so to me, it's like I mean, hopefully nothing. I don't. I don't know what they're going to do. Not. I want new <laughs> villains. New villains. I mean, the last. The last thought. I mean, the last thought in his head was to go to New York and seek out Peter Parker. But like, would the symbiote yeah. even know the Peter <laughs> Parker name anymore? Well, or 
he thought to seek out Spider Man. So yeah, it, speaking, it could speaking, be speaking, like, and then he goes to New York. Spider Man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All the way there. <laughs> Was the bartender from something else? Some other Marvel movie? So I saw something about that. I have to go look at that. Anyways. All right. And then the final, I guess you call it an end credit scene. It's more just the trailer for Doctor Strange. Yeah. Sure. It's like what Something. they did at the end of was it Captain yeah. America? Yeah, I think so. They show the Avenger trailer. Mm-hmm. That's that's a good trailer. The it was Doctor a good trailer. It was a good trailer. Yes. If you haven't watched What If, people's go watch the What If. Hmm? Ah, I mean, <laughs> what they're doing the Doctor Strange Supreme? Uh, is it though? <laughs> how many? How many Doctor yeah. Strange do you think they're gonna? There's gonna so, be in Doctor Strange and Multiverse Madness. I think it's more than two hundred. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's there's three because uh, possibly three. There, there's. I mean, oh, oh yeah, no. started to put the toy line Chris. out. And, and no. I'm not going to spoil anything, so just don't look at the toy line if you want. If you don't want to be spoiled, because there's always mm-hmm. already some little things that you can spot That's the weird. toy line, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> And and there there are the, there's a the woman Doctor Strange the time here. And there's the Loki Doctor alien Strange. Doctor Strange Loki Doctor Strange. alligator uh, Doctor Strange. There there are rumors. Excellent. There are rumors. I have, of other I have heard I have heard that there are rumors. Uh, but I'm going to popping stay away from them. So I'm surprised <laughs> on the day. Oh, I heard a rumor but about somebody in this <laughs> movie that's going to be in that movie. All right. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't want to ruin it for Ray. Is Wong, is Wong uh, going to be in? in no, that stage? it's. I don't know. I don't know how this would happen, but suppose there's a rumor that Toby. <gasps> well, I did read something that they were going to do some more reshoots to I don't throw some more cameos into the movie. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I don't know where you got yeah, your. I don't know about right. that one. There, You're there is another one. I don't know. My people, uh, not, there, there's one rumor that I, I really can Go ahead. see happening. It's a rumor. Go ahead. Um, I don't know if Ray just want to close your ears. Okay. okay. Supposedly, there's going to be an Illuminati. <laughs> the Illumin- oh. <laughs> You're like, what? The Illuminati in the comics are several key Marvel characters that mm. basically make huge decisions for the Marvel Universe. And and set set people on on certain paths and stuff, included in the Illuminati. Oh, Doctor Strange uh, has been in there. Professor X uh, is in it. Black Bolt. Um, excited and, about Black uh, Bolt. Various oh, various yeah. others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are the ones. <laughs> he's, yeah. the, he's the man. I know. I guess he's a man. Crescent but, Rudge. But supposedly, oh, Crescent yeah. Rudge. There's, there's and Black Bolt in the same yeah. movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Black Bolt's an inhuman. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. TV show that failed, um, <laughs> which they would they would totally redo it. They wouldn't use the same one because that one failed so bad. They would use a different one. Na- oh, Namor, I believe, was was part of the Illuminati at one point. Um, but I mean, there, I, I did see rumors before. There was there was apparently someone saw. Like mm. storyboards or whatever that had Professor. Well, maybe Rex it was just the guy in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. In them, or more Strange. than one person in a wheelchair. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> It'd be Deadpool. But supposedly, yeah, the Looney Eye is going to play. That would be funny if it was Deadpool and he's in I mean, Professor never Rex's wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, Show this. up. Yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be the one cameo oh, that yeah. I would be fine with, like five minutes. Mm-hmm. He just popped up, did something great, and then left. <laughs> like he wouldn't have to be the person of the movie. That would be the now one. Now that you said Illuminati like sixteen when, times, I'm pretty sure this episode just was flagged, and the Illuminati <laughs> will be watching us. <laughs> <this. laughs> yes, Black Bolt yes. will be visiting your house. Soon. Maybe we'll talk about that on mm-hmm. the next episode of I Am Legend, <laughs> <laughs> which will deal with paranormal stuff. So. Okay, so what would be the <laughs> in credit scene that? Didn't happen that you wanted to happen. Mm. 
Oh, oh, and, yeah, oh, and real quick, right. Mr. Fantastic. I remember hearing rumors about him. Yes, after his non-appearance in Wonder WandaVision. So sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. No. better be Jim from the office. So that's why I like. We gotta be. put him in this because people. <laughs> he showed up. He was like, "Yeah, I just got through building this machine <laughs> for uh, this like shield agent." <sighs> All right, what's the one? What's the end credit scene that you wanted to have and that didn't happen? Okay. I would have liked to see the the other Spider-Man mm-hmm. pop back into their universe just for a little bit um, to see, like, yeah, Mary Jane and Tobey Bar Spider-Man, Spider-Girl. and maybe they had like a was little, there, wasn't little, there a rumor kid. that she would mm-hmm. that she was going to film yeah. something or that I mean, they had filmed something thing. with her, but then they cut it. I don't know. There, there was. Um, oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, Tony Stark's daughter. They, uh, she filmed something, but they cut it. Um, yeah. But I don't, I don't, I, I didn't hear um, about. I mean, maybe, maybe there she was, was in the clouds. Okay, but I don't know. But yeah, I would, I would like to. See, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, there's Peter. Hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that would have been nice, like a little, bit. Right. just a little prologue with right. the other guys. You ready for my storyboard? Because I've been thinking about this. All right. And I saw somebody mm-hmm. else think about it. I saw the the creator oh. of Phineas and Ferb also thought about this. And I was like, oh, we thought about the same thing. <sighs> he's really he's a funny guy. Yes. Anyways. Um so we we go to Andrew Garfield's Spider Man universe. It's a scene. Web's coming down, Gwen's falling. Falling, falling. And before she hits the ground, the redeemed Electro catches her and saves the day. But she's falling really, really Shh, far. Don't, don't, don't go into that. No don't, 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 don't. <laughs> yeah. no, but see, the web, the web, the web, you know, is hooked yeah, he onto her. So she's, she hasn't snapped back yet. And he catches her just no, in time. Oh, she has she to die. Right. So his scene in this movie is cool. <laughs> but it'd be cool. But but see, <laughs> but see, because but he comes from a different a time. <laughs> so this could set up Spider Gwen because of the way that's TVA is not gonna allow it. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> he didn't come from he didn't come from he wouldn't be put back in that moment. He'd be put back <laughs> in another moment. But this new electro goes back to that moment. He saves her, well, I, and then in the next amazing Spider-Man that they make, Spider-Gwen shows up. Yeah, see, see? And that's how we get Spider-Gwen. We can get Spider-Gwen anyway. Oh, come on. It would have been cool. Yeah, we can get her anyway. It's, well, and really, Spider-Gwen is, is, is Hawkeye. There you yeah. go. Oh, does she? She does the voice of Spider-Gwen. Kate the Bishop. Kate the- Oh yeah, my gosh! She's the actress Haley. I've Seinfeld got the, the, the creator of Phineas and Ferb on my side. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> he's more famous than all of us. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, he's a, yeah. he's a good he old voice dude. Yeah, on Doofus Instagram, Marks, it's so which, funny. Which, which, I know he's, he's, he's great. Super funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quick story about him, which is something we can talk mm-hmm. about. He's I'm good. More I like him. Legends episodes. If Ray, you don't know what that is, we'll explain it later. Do you know that he had an event in his life with missing time? When he was in college, he was driving somewhere to meet oh. some people to do like an interview. Mm-hmm. Him and this friend of his, this late, this girl, and they saw these weird things on the road when they were driving. And then when we got the, they got to the destination and they went to the door. The, the guy who answered the door said, "Hey, you can't. You're like two hours late for your interview." <laughs> And they're like, there's no way we could be two hours late for our interview. Mm -hmm. Like, they knew the time to get there and back. He's like, we don't know what happened. We don't know. But those hours just went missing. And he's like, he was on a podcast and he talked about it. And it was like, oh, this is really fascinating. Um, So Aliens. Was was the interview in the Bermuda Triangle? (laughs) Aliens. No, it was in California somewhere. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, and he was for some reason he was walking it, funny. All right, back to Spider-Man. Got yeah, sucked into right, his so, other universe, and there's all these super villains. <laughs> Would you say that this was the best <laughs> Spider-Man movie ever made? Uh, ever made? I think Spider-Verse is probably still my favorite, but this is probably a close second. Cool. Mm-hmm. 
Well, let's say live action. We'll, we'll go that route. Oh, live action. Uh, yeah, then probably. Live action. <clears throat> I feel like Spider Man 2 still has maybe just a slight edge on this one for me. Just slight. Just. Oh, like, we didn't uh, get Tom Tom's Tom's back great. up. Just oh. like, that was really good. Catron, yeah. what was your in credit scene you wanted? Sorry, we got distracted by Doofus words. I, I hadn't really <laughs> thought about it, but but I think going back to something I said earlier and kind of tagging on to what Chris said, <laughs> it would have been interesting to see one of the characters when they got transported back to their time, right? And maybe just seeing them in their world, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. um, could have been interesting. I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about it. We had somebody in the, the chat, though, say Miles. Mm. I think that was in response to that question. You know, it's like mm, yeah. maybe seeing something with Miles in there would have been cool. So, yeah, that, that could have been cool, uh, too. I think they're saving Miles, I think, for something. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to see Miles. Yeah, he exists. Yeah. And well, I think they're saving exists. him. He exists. For something. From MCU. Yeah, I, I I feel like when mm-hmm. Tom when they're when they're basically done with Tom Holland, sometime, I think they're sometime in this next trilogy probably Miles Morales as as their main. But at this, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, yeah. I still think they're going to do more with Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Ray, did you say you're in credit, or do you just agree with Chris? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I said kind of the same thing, just to kind of have like a little prologue, see what, what see what's going on with all the other other people that got sent back. Yeah. And where is Spider Pig? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the big question. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or Spider Ham, whatever his name is. He's a pig. Ham pig. <laughs> they should have. They should have jumped in the into the Simpsons universe and and visited Spider-Ham. with uh, Spider Ham. Spider Pig. Yeah. Yeah, it was Spider Pig. But I think it was in the Simpsons. It was Spider Pig. Yeah. And actually, in the comics, yeah. it's Spider Ham. <laughs> I think we know the answer to this. Was this the best Spider-Man live-action movie? <laughs> I don't have the authority to say it was the best. I can't. Uh, what I can say is it wasn't my favorite Spider-Man movie. <laughs> <laughs> I never would have guessed. What was your favorite? I don't know. I never really thought about it. And I don't. I don't <laughs> think I've seen, or if I have, I just don't remember them very well. The, the Amazing Spider-Man movies. It um, would have been funny if you said, "I don't think I've seen any other Spider-Man." Movies. <laughs> this, is my first I even, this is the first one I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, I, I said it earlier. My, um, I really like the Tobey Maguire ones, and that's that's the one I've seen. The ones I've seen the most, and it, I was late to the party to see the the um, Tom Holland ones. Um, and he's he's good. I don't, but. Um, I don't know that I, I don't know. I've never really thought about what's my favorite Spider-Man movie, uh, and maybe it's just because I'm not a Spider-Man huge Spider-Man uh, fan. I mean, I loved watching the cartoon growing up, but I mean, I don't know. So you haven't seen the Andrew Garfield ones? I don't think so. I'm, I probably three. did, but it's probably one of those times you where I slept through and, a movie. So go back goodness. and watch it. It's going to be interesting to see where they go from here, though, Hulu. because the next yeah, Spider-Man Hulu. movie they do with Tom Holland, <laughs> it just will it just will not be as big as this one. It just yeah. can't. It just can't be. Um, it's going to be interesting though, because now yeah. we're uh, to the Spider-Man, basically the, for lack of a better word, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. It's going to be more on a small scale. It's not going to be mm-hmm. him fighting aliens on other planets. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be like he's got nobody. He's 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 yeah. got to build up from there. And if and if he doesn't have a landlord that demands the rent, you know, at least three times during the movie, then there's something wrong with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but that's going to be interesting to see what they do next. Yeah. But does, I mean, is he not part of the Avengers anymore? Then no. Well, Just because they don't Spider-Man know who Peter Parker is. Be. Well, Spider-Man I don't. But is Spider Man right? They but, know Spider Man. Uh, they well, know I mean, Peter so Parker. Yeah. Why is, not? Is there? But, a, why? How do they not know Peter Parker? You know, it's yeah. it's hard. You know, is really his? I mean, yeah, really, sure. Spider Man's link to the Avengers was Iron Man, and he's gone. So I mean, I don't necessarily see and like true and yeah. and I mean, who's the Avengers now? Like, I mean. They call Hawkeye yeah. an Avenger. Everybody's kind of I disbanded. Mean, so. Spider-Man yeah. didn't really yeah. interact. And that's with the thing with the the, the um, problem with the shared universe because it's like where well, where's this one? Where's Scott? You know, where's while this is going on? Why isn't this one helping? And that's kind of always the problem. So, 
you know, we probably, I don't know what they're cooking up, if the, you know, the next big mm -hmm. event is going to be some kind of a Secret Wars thing or some kind of multiversal where all the heroes and villains mm -hmm. of, of current and past are brought back in some epic fight. But that's probably going to be the next time Spider-Man is like with everybody again. <laughs> um, because I think that probably also just becomes hard mm -hmm. to like have these stories and kind of write for, you know, well, we got this franchise going on over here that we're like, you know, this much invested in, but we got our own thing going on. We got our Disney plus and Sony's not part of that. So I don't know. It's almost kind of like they're going to kind of wheel him off yeah. to the side for a little bit. And maybe, you know, if there's another event film like uh, Endgame or Infinity War, maybe he'll get pulled back in. If they did another team up or something with them, oh, I would yes. want it to be Spider-Man and Daredevil. Where it would it would kind of do a smaller mm -hmm. story, take place within the city i i mean they could even do kingpin yeah or whatever because yeah, i mean yeah, totally. kingpin is a spider-man villain as well um so i mean I, I think they could really do something with that if they're going to kind of because each of these yeah. movies he's kind of mm -hmm. teamed up or whatever uh with like iron man and then nick fury and then dr strange so like if they continued that and i would maybe, say daredevil would be their best bet some Characters yeah, from excellent. Hawkeye, just because again they mentioned the, well, I guess that's really not part of just Spider Man, but the the Statue of Liberty. And then you talked about Kingpin. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be but, interesting to see what, what they where okay, they go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think yeah. definitely a sure. smaller scale yeah, yeah. story. I think would be the best bet for them to do. That was one thing I thought about though too. Is after this ended, it's like this is how they split him off from everything mm -hmm. else because you know, mm -hmm. they made everybody forget about it about Peter Parker, anyways, and mm -hmm. and all this stuff happened, and it's kind of like here's the end of this, <laughs> all these things, you know, kind of, you know, but um, it's the, <laughs> it's, it's, he's starting anew in many ways. Or, you know? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. And and if you think about it, like well, I mean what villains that they have left to use really and like the the best villain I think they have mm -hmm. sitting there is J Jonah Jameson because in the comics J Jonah has mm. like actually hired people to take down yeah. Spider Man on several occasions um, he he was the reason the Scorpion became the Scorpion he um, put him in touch with someone to get the suit to go after Spider Man and. Really, they kind of have that set up a little bit because mm -hmm. the Scorpion does want to go mm -hmm. after Spider-Man. That that he's not the Scorpion yet, and then you have J. Jonah Jameson who wants to take down Spider-Man. So they kind of they they have that set we'll up see. there. We'll if they call Sony it. <laughs> yes. Anyways, okay. Well, I think that I think we've covered <laughs> pretty much everything. Pretty much um, everything. I hope they bring. I hope they do something else with Tom. I like Tom. I think they've already said they're going to do three more movies with him, right? Mm, something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and supposedly there is something with Marvel that they they have at least mm -hmm. one, one more use for that they can do with him yeah. within yeah. someone else's. But I hope movie they already announced that they were basically doing movies. three more movies with Tom. So. Yeah, well, they back, announced so. it, but then they yeah. almost immediately took it back. I like Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think, I mean, you know, they made, and again, I mean, I, I, I doubt it, it. It's, it's pretty obvious to all of the parties involved, you know, with this film and it making as much money as it did, having, you know, Doctor Strange in it, and you know, the people from the old yeah. Spider-Man films having like a big sort of. Avengers level sort of uh, movie where you have a lot of you know heroes and a lot of villains and, and so forth and so on to make it a big spectacle like this, um, it 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 pays. So I mean I, I can't imagine Sony will, will no MCU you can't have him appear in this movie or that movie or, or this and then the other you know it's like yeah. why 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 would you mm -hmm. do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. So, yep. Yeah, I mean, like they had ads for, for Rogers the Musical <laughs> and uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. So, you know, I can do so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they they did. <laughs> college years. They, they did he's the high school go years. In, like somebody said in the, the comments, I've seen videos. He's gonna go in. He's like, I'm gonna look at my schedule. Uh, 
Wait a minute. Uh, who's this guy? This. Um, I just forgot his name. The lizard. Kurt Connors. Doctor Connors. Yeah, Connors. Uh, oh, I have some class. Connors. A professor named Connors. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> She yeah. up and sees him with one arm. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. And he goes, my name's Peter. What's your name? Oh, my name's Gwen. And he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I see you have on your resume <laughs> here that you were part of the Stark internship <laughs> program. Um, they don't have any record of you. So I, I don't know yeah. why you're lying on your he, application. He meets his new roommate and it's, uh, <laughs> his last name's Osborne. <laughs> it's Harry Osborne. Like, Wait a second. <laughs> Now, Goblin said there was no Oscorp in this universe. So. But that doesn't mean there's no Osborns. Well, so, so supposedly, like, there's, a, there's another thing I saw online about this. Is, so he went to his house and said it's not his house. And, he, and he, he, he says his son, Harry, but he doesn't necessarily say, like, he doesn't exist or anything. Mm. He just said, like, he just kind of, he's saddened. Like almost when he says his son, so supposedly in some online thing, in some online Daily Bugle thing or whatever, uh, before this movie came out, they, there's like this little clip or something written in there about uh, a disgraced uh, billionaire scientist or whatever, failure of a scientist or whatever, uh, busted into this like like a house or soiree or something at this place. Um, and just kind of like went nuts and then left. So speculation is that was this Norman Osborn going back to like going to his house, thinking it was at his house. So people would have had to recognize him. So in this universe, yeah. Oscorp doesn't exist yeah. because he yeah. failed as a scientist and and didn't create Oscorp at the time. So they they have almost like a loophole where like. Oscorp could show up at some point if they wanted to do it, but at this moment in time, it doesn't exist because he he failed, yeah. and so that failure could. Let's not do God too, like, they, they, they ended and, uh, him on, <laughs> on a good. Yeah. <laughs> oh please! I, I feel like I I feel like they're not going to not like sure. I'm sure in the distant future they'll Hob probably do a goblin, goblin again. Mm-hmm. If they're going to do a goblin, I'm thinking it's going to be hobgoblin. Nose, nose goblin. Demon, demon <laughs> goblin. I, there's other goblins. Like, there's Jack O' Lantern. Um, oh. Who's basically a goblin, there. but he's got a Jack O' Lantern on his head. Yeah. All right. Well, I think uh, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know how long we've been going because my stuff stopped recording. About an hour and 30. So <laughs> I think we're wrapping it up. Ray, thank you again. Yeah. That's Ray. <laughs> And I'm sure there'll be another roundtable coming up where you can drop your knowledge. Hot we need dog. to talk about Hawkeye sometime because yeah. it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Really yeah, loved it. Thank you for all our listeners yeah. and our viewers. And next week I will be gone. So what? that means it's going to be a really good show. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Tune into that one. It's going to be very organized. <laughs> mm hmm. I don't know. Yep. I'm sure Katrin and Chris are going to do something, maybe. I'm not sure what. Mm-hmm. We'll figure something out. And then I'll be back the following week with back from Hawaii, back from Disneyland. So I'm sure I'll have lots to say, yeah, hopefully, if I Hawaii lets me leave. Yeah. So there we go. Anyways. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, guys. And we'll be back next week <laughs> with something fun, something new, and, of course, something geeky. I am geek. This has been I Am Marvel. Bye-bye.